Hi folks, my little project today is replacing the front shocks on a 2002 Suzu Rodeo and for the sake of time I've already uh, raised the front of the car of course you want to chuck the rear wheels to prevent the car from rolling and uh, I took the wheels off and here's the uh, shock we're going to be replacing so first thing to unmount is the top mounting nut and it's a 14 millimeter nut and to take that one out we want to clamp this part here with a vice grip because if we don't the whole piston is going to be turning when I'm trying to take the nut off and I'll show you. So I'm going to try to unscrew the nut this whole thing is going to be turning. So to stop that from happening I'm going to clamp this part here with a vice grip. Probably a a little tighter than that. There we go. Try to do this whole thing with a one hand here. So, okay, there we go. So that nut is out. I'm going to take off this rubber bushing and a uh, washer. And it's time to take out the uh, bottom bolt. And that's a. Uh, to do that, I'm going to unscrew this 17 millimeter nut and take the bolt out. So I'm going to use a bigger wrench on that one because that bolt is that was a 17 millimeter and it's pretty tight so uh, I'm going to need both hands to do that. I took the nut off and the bolt should come out pretty easy. My camera is getting a little blurry for some reason. If the bolt is a little stuck then just bump it with something else it should come out pretty easy. So. There you go. Now I'm going to compress the shock and pull it out. And this one's a uh, when you compress it, it doesn't even want to come back up anymore. So it's probably a good time to replace it. Now, as you can see, the uh, the new shocks seem to be a little different. Actually, they're a little bigger. A little thicker I should say and uh, it's probably a good thing. The main thing is that fully expanded they appear to be of the same length and the uh, the bolt position on the bottom is uh, the same and the threaded parts on top are on the same level so that's what's important. Replace the rubber bushings and the, the washers that the new shocks came with and there's actually a little diagram in the box that shows you the proper positioning of this nuts and bushings and uh, it looks like it goes in this order first washer goes on like so then the rubber bushing and then I'm gonna put the shock in and then uh, put the rest of these things on now in order to install it I had to uh, slide the bottom in first put the bolt through and uh, compress this whole thing with both hands, which I already did. Put the top in place and let it expand and see where it needs to be. And then, once that's done, I'm going to put this rubber bushing on top here and the washer right on top of that. And our 14, the new 14 millimeter nut. So, after installing the bolt on the bottom, and the nut on top. I tighten them and uh, tighten this one to 15 foot pounds and the bottom one to 61 foot pounds. So those are the uh, factory torque specifications. So 61 foot pounds in the bottom, 15 foot pounds on top, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to do the other side, which is pretty much exactly the same, and uh, that's how you replace the uh, front shocks on a 2002 Isuzu Rodeo. Thank you.